What is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another how-to video with me, Osno Flaw. And today we're going to be showing you how to replace a fill valve for a toilet. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, look at the bottom of your toilet. Find the flex hose that goes down to the shutoff valve and shut the valve off because we don't want any water in there. So once you shut off the valve, make sure to flush the toilet to get all the water out of the tank. Once you get the water out of the tank, then we can start dismantling the bottom of the fill valve. Once you got the flex hose removed, you want to go ahead and put that to the side. And by this time, you should already have the tank. It should be drained completely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take off the nut that's at the bottom, which will allow us to remove the fill valve itself. Hey, get out of the way. Excuse that, that's my cat. She's trying to help. So once you remove this, we can go ahead and remove the fill valve. Now make sure that when you remove that fill valve, you have a bucket underneath there. So all the water that didn't come out when you unscrewed the flex hose, it's going to want to come out as soon as you pull out that valve. So make sure to have a bucket on there to catch the water. If not, you're going to have water all over the place. Once you remove the old fill valve, you're going to go put the new one in there. Now they do make different type of fill valves type of fill valve that I got is a, is a quiet fill valve from Home Depot. It's pretty cheap. I got it for about 15 bucks. Um, it's a nice little replacement for an older one. So check it out. Or they have other ones there if you'd like. So check those out. What we're going to do now is once you got the fill valve in there, you're going to want to get the nut that goes at the bottom. It comes with a new one that they provided. Just make sure to put that on there and hand tighten it, okay? You don't want to over tighten it because if you over tighten it, you could strip the threads and then you are SOL. Once you got the fill valve in the tank and you got it nice and secured, like I said, make sure it's hand tight because you don't want to strip it, but you want it tight enough to where it's not going to leak. Once you got that done, you want to get the flex hose that you removed earlier and put it back on now make sure that it's not kinked and make sure that it goes on there straight because you don't want to strip the threads because if you strip the threads and you're gonna have to buy a new valve and that's gonna really suck so make sure it's going on there straight and it's not stripping it and with this one you also want to hand tighten it as well because the valve is plastic So once you go ahead and tighten it up, and it's good to go. Now we can go ahead and turn on the water supply. And refill the tank. Alrighty, as you can tell, the tank is filling. So we'll go ahead and let it fill up. Let's see what it does. But as you can tell, this one doesn't have the little floaty ball no more. Which is great. And also with these newer type of fill valves, it is recommended that you don't put the toilet cleaners inside the tank. So the containers that have the little blue stuff or the little blue round circular things don't put them in a tank when you're dealing with this valve right here because it will damage it and it will avoid the warranty so all we're doing now is just waiting for the tank to fill up just to make sure that there's no leaks or 
there's no water escaping through the flapper. The flapper would be that pink thing at the bottom that opens up when you flush the toilet. Now if after the fill valve fills back up and you still hear a running noise, the water is still running into this tube right here, then that means that your flapper is possibly bad and you might have to replace that. If not, just take it off, clean it up a little bit, put it back on there to see if that will uh, fix the problem. If not, then you definitely need to get a new flapper. Other than that, you are good to go. So I'd like to thank you guys for tuning into the video today. If you liked the video and it was helpful and you want to see more like this, feel free to hit the like button at the bottom. If you didn't like the video, well, I appreciate you tuning in anyways. Happy shitting, and we'll see you next time.